Are you ready, brethren? This could be the day, this could be the hour that our Lord Jesus Christ returns and we want to be ready. We want to be alert and focused on who we are and where we're going and what we're being prepared for. We're being prepared for great things in glory. 1 Corinthians 6.20 is where I was thinking about starting off our meeting. For ye are bought with a price. It was a great price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Not ours. Not the state. Not the world. God's. See, this sounds, a lot, this sounds different than what the world tells you. Ever since you were young, the world would say, No, hey, you, this is your life. It belongs to you. What are you going to do with your life? What's your aspirations? What's your dreams? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to do with yourself? This, you, they tell you, well, this, you only got to do this one time. Do what you can. Take what you can. Live for yourself. It's your body. Do what you want. But it's not our body. It's not our life. Our life belongs to Christ Jesus. He paid the price for it. Amen. Our breath is because God has given it to us. <coughs> ye are bought with a price. Be not ye servants of men. 1 Corinthians 7.23. See, this is what men are trying to do. Trying to conform us to be their servants instead of God's servants. To wake up every morning to serve men and not God. This is the ultimate goal for the world, is to be servants of men and not God. Not to be thinking about God, not to be thinking that wherever I am, whatever financial state I'm in, whatever physical health state I'm in, that's where God has me today. Because he's going to use me to do something. That's the way we think as believers in Christ Jesus. Well, how is God going to use me today? How is he preparing me? Why does he have me in this time? Why does he have me in this place? Why does he have me in this physical state that I'm in? You know, you, you just go down the, the whole gambit of that reasoning. Of how you are, where you are, what you're doing. is because God is using you for his purpose. Amen. This isn't a purpose of man. This isn't your purpose. This is God's purpose. Our life is to be wrapped up in Christ Jesus. And preparing to do what God has for us today. This cannot be taken for granted. We, each and every morning, when we get up and prepare for the day, we can't take it for granted that we served a good day yesterday. That we had a good day on the Lord yesterday. Because every day has to be, you have to fortify which God, your resources that God has given to you and add to them. To prepare for the day. The Lord's day. Now Satan. His goal is to make you think. Hey. Take it easy now. Settle down. You're safe. You're okay. Just lower your shields a little bit. Okay. Don't get all. Bent out of shape and all. You're fine. God loves you just the way you are. You don't, you're just take it easy. We can't relax. We're in a battlefield. Yeah. We're told to wake up. Wake up out of your slumber. Be alert. Be ready. We don't know the, the hour when our Lord's going to be returned. Let it be clear that we believers belong to God. Yeah. Whatever we Wherever we go, whatever we do, it's all to the glory of God. That's the purpose. If it's not, if we're going somewhere or doing something and we're not glorifying God, we've just wasted time and resources. God's time. God's resources. Our time doesn't belong to us. As the scripture we just read, our text that we're reading, we belong body 
in spirit to God. That's everything. To God. Amen. So for some, what will it take to shake them up? Some, it takes a great traumatic Something in their life to really get them shook up. Somebody has to die. Somebody, but for believers, this isn't so. We don't have to wait for something great and traumatic to come along to shake us up. We can already know we belong to God. This hour, this time belongs to Him. It shouldn't be that it takes something dramatic, like a, a trial in your life, a, a loved one to die, a, a big something just out of the ordinary to make someone say, run to God. No, we belong to God. We are His right now. We don't have to wait for the trial to come. We're His today. Our days are numbered, brethren. Our life is not our own, and neither is the time we have. It all belongs to Christ. God determines if we live or die. You are breathing right now for God's benefit. Now, it may be a benefit to please Him and to do well and to live for Him. That's why you're breathing. Or maybe He's using you for a, a vessel of dishonor. But this isn't so for believers. We're here to do well for the Lord. We're here to live our lives every moment for the Lord. Some go to great effort to preserve their lives only to find that their next moment they're going to be dead. Not thinking of God, not thinking of anything but themselves, to preserve themselves for themselves. Thinking 20, 30 years down the road and the next minute they're dead. What have they done except for wasted God's resources and God's time? For nothing. Because 20, 30 years doesn't mean anything when you're dead the next moment. What are you going to do 10,000 years from now? Where are you going to be? Who are you going to be with? That's the question. Some grow to great efforts just to lose everything that they have prepared. And in the end, they have nothing. But we, believers... We know what's coming. We know who's coming. And we know who we're preparing ourselves for. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. This time we have now is we're preparing and we're working. Yeah. Just we're waiting, looking for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming and knowing that we belong to him. We want to make every effort. To use every moment in preparation. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, work, taking care of the kids, here, here with the fellowship, it's all in preparation for our Lord's return. Mm -hmm. Amen. To some, leaving this world is a scary thought. But not for those who are prepared. Those who have, that's all we've done is prepared our transition is going to be smooth and a joyous one. One that we look forward to. Because we know Him. Because we prepared. We've, we've spent ourselves in preparation. We know that God is in control here. We know that He has he is preparing us. He is laying the groundwork. He is, he is doing everything to get us ready for what He's going to be doing in glory. So that all the scariness, if you will, goes away. All the uneasiness falls away. And we have this joy. We, that we have a, a time that it will make it easy to prepare when you're not caught up in, in the uncertainty of what's up ahead. So for us to live is to live for Christ. This is what, how we live today. We live for Christ. As our text says, we belong to God, body and spirit. As long as we are here in this world, we continue 
to produce fruit for the Lord. Hey, that's a wonderful thing. Just think of it of itself. The reason we're here is producing fruit for our Lord. Let us glorify God in our bodies and in our spirit, which are God's today. Living for the Lord is very rewarding, brethren. Amen. You don't live for the, the Lord and not be rewarded for it. Yeah. This is how our God is. Blessed are those servants whom when the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Mm -hmm. See, we're prepared when our Lord comes. We're prepared and we're not taken off guard. Luke 12, 37. Luke 12, 38 says, And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. Mm -hmm. So, brethren, this is our goal. Is to be blessed by God. Yeah. To be blessed when he returns. To be blessed when he comes back for his bride. That we are ready when he returns. Amen. Let us pray, brethren, as we open up. Brother Gene is going to be uh, having our teaching. And we look forward to the things that Brother Gene has uh, prepared this morning.